Hello, what's up, what's up, y'all? <laughs> hey, it is Sharon, aka Wabaraka, and I am back with another video. In today's video, like you can see, I am on my apron, so it is Muke Nyumbani. I am going to show you how to make a dish that I would ordinarily cook for my family. Just for disclaimers, I am not a professional chef. I am a chef in my own house and I am going to show you what I would cook for my family and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make pasta pesto. Now for those who are new here you are very welcome. Thank you for following my channel. Thank you for joining in. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, share my videos, like if you like the content. If you are a returning subscriber I welcome you back. Thank you for always following me. Thank you for always supporting my channel and thank you for supporting me so without further ado let's go straight into the cooking and let me show you how to make pasta pesto so to begin with i've got all my ingredients ready that's the pasta already boiled i've got some chicken there i've got um some onions pasta pesto and some seasoning that i'm going to be using in today's video we're going to heat the pan we need to heat the pan uh, warm before we can put our onion and our cooking oil is there just going to use a little of the cooking oil I wouldn't uh, measure if I was cooking, but because I'm doing this video to show you what to do, I'm just going to measure once the pan is fully heated. And I will put about two of these spoons. The pan is now hot. Again, let, I can actually going to do three. Let the oil warm up before you put the onions. Okay, so once the oil is hot, add the onion. And again, let the onion cook. It's easy for the onions to cook when the pan is hot than when it's not hot enough. Let the onions cook until they brown. So I'm going to give it a few minutes for the onions to cook. Right, so as they're browning up, I'm going to add some garlic to my onion. I just love garlic in my food and it's so so healthy and for some reason I have heard during this um, corona season that garlic is good. It's good uh, to prevent the virus from attacking your throat. So add some garlic but I would add garlic anyway whether there was coronavirus or not coronavirus. I just love the taste of garlic in my food. Okay, let's just cook. And I'm also going to add some mixed herbs. Those are mixed herbs. Hmm, the smell of it is good as well. Now this one's not open, I'm going to open it. And you don't need to add a lot, just a little bit um, to taste like maybe a teaspoon or, or something like that. I just measure with my eyes. So babu mimi ni nyumbani. I'm not a chef. chef. A chef would always go by the measurement, but I just use my eyes to measure. <laughs> the best chefs use their eyes. They don't need a measuring thing. Anyway, like I said, I am not a chef. At this point, the heat is a bit too much, so I'm going to reduce it. 
that. And you can see now the onions are browning nicely. They are well cooked. And so what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to add chicken. This is two chicken breasts. Like you all know, these are tough times for everybody. And just to keep it um, to a minimum budget, you don't need to use a lot of chicken. So two chicken breasts is enough. And I'm going to turn the chicken like that until it's fully cooked. so it's not sitting into your pan. Let's make sure the chicken is fully cooked. As you can see now, um, the chicken is nicely cooked and brown. Just make sure the chicken is fully cooked before you add your pepper sauce. And at this point, because now the chicken is fully cooked, I'm going to add the pepper sauce. You can make your own one from from scratch if you know how to make it or you can buy it ready cooked from the store. The one I'm using I have bought it from the shop. I'm also going to add a little salt here to taste because I like my chicken well seasoned and salty so that salt that I'm cooking Okay, mix properly, make sure that it is well cooked. All right, our chicken is coming on nicely. I've decided to add some veggies, so I'm going to add some peas on here. I had not decided to use the peas, but <clears throat> now I've decided I'm going to add some peas onto it just so that it's healthy food and there's some greens to it. You don't let the, the peas cook fully. It's nice to have that green um, on your food, so don't let the peas cook fully. And immediately then I'm going to put our pasta. Like I said, this is just normal pasta, boiled from fresh, and I have already drained the water. My hands are clean. If you see me touching the food, I've already washed my hands. to wash them again because I've touched the food and just now mix and this food should be ready to cook so this is healthy food for the whole family it has chicken which is protein it's got the carbohydrates which is on the pasta and there's some greens to it, so we've got some vitamins there as well. Fully mixed diet food. Didn't spend a lot in these odd times. And we have enough there to feed the whole family. So make sure that it's mixed properly before you serve your family. Right, so guys, there is our food cooked. Let me show my face. Don't know if you can see me, but there is our food fully cooked, and we're just now going to enjoy it. Pasta pesto, and that's how you make pasta pesto from your house. Don't have to be a chef to cook good food, and that's how you make it. Right, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following my channel. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please softly touch that red subscribe button. Softly. Follow me and support my channel and God is going to bless you. I'm going to be uploading another video. And again, in these odd times, you don't have to go over the limit of your budget. You don't have to be extreme. Just simple food that does not cost a lot of money should be enough to feed the whole family. God bless you and Baraka!